couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. This time we're gonna learn Space Oddity, a full finger style arrangement of Space Oddity. I'm gonna play it for you and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note with tabs right here as usual. Goes like this, enjoy. So for the intro, you need two chords, E minor right? and F major 7. F major 7, you can do it several different ways. You can take the bar F chord, take the bar off, put one on the second string, and just play it from the fifth string down, right? Because you don't have the, okay, the F bass. So the open E string, that's the major 7 note. So that's one way. Another way is just to play strings 1 to 4 on 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay? An F chord with the open E string. Or you can do that and add your thumb on 1 on the 6th string. And then you have a kind of like a finger style version of F major 7. Okay? You can't play the 5th string. You can mute it with your 3rd finger there. And then you can play the whole thing. But okay, it's finger style. So keep it finger style. So those are your two chords and you can just uh, play it freestyle any way you like. You can strum the chord and then just highlight a few notes. Right? Or you can uh, just do it in freestyle finger style. Just which is basically the same thing, just without the strum at the beginning of each bar. So just 
find your own expression for these chords. It's just two chords. Shouldn't be too complicated. Just keep it simple, keep it beautiful. That's the only rule. All right, so um, the verse um, starts with C. And you start with the C bass, three on the fifth string, and you play one, 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 three, one, zero on the second string. Right? Pretty simple, but you can um, harmonize with the rest of the chord. Okay? And you can hammer on one to three, you can pull off one to zero. And then you play E minor right away. So after you finish the line, play the sixth string and then put E minor and arpeggiate it. So. Right? Any way you like. Again, keep it simple. Give it space, okay? Um, it's not a pun. The arrangement of the original song, the whole sound of the song is intended to make you think you're in space. So just try to imitate that by, by you know, leaving space in your arrangement. You know, don't, don't play too many notes. You know what I mean? So... And you play this twice, okay? The C E minor line, play it twice. Then you have A minor, you play the A bass, the fifth string, and you play one three one three one on the second string. Okay, so it's the same notes, but you need to harmonize with the third string this time because it changes from A minor to A minor seven. So Okay, you play one three with two on the third string, and then you take the finger off of the third string for the A, ma A minor seven, and you get the one three one with the open third string, so you have the chord change in there. Okay, you see? This note changed it from A minor to A minor seven. So that's how you do it. Okay, you highlight the third string as well. Right? And then you play three again on the second string. Okay? You can harmonize, you can just play the note by itself. And then you have, again, you have two on the third string with one, three, one, three, three on the, on the second string, this time with the F sharp bass, two on the sixth string. So do it with your thumb. And then you have this. So basically you start with either D7 over F sharp or more accurately an F sharp half diminished chord, minor 7 flat 5 because this sounds diminished. And then by the end of the line it ends on a D chord okay? because this is a reversed D chord with F sharp on the bass. So you start diminished and finish major. So um, that's the brilliance of David Bowie. Hey, you don't you don't really feel the chord. Uh, sorry, you don't really hear the chord, but you feel the chord. So that's that's just brilliant. Right. So that's basically the verse, and you play it twice. Okay. So again, C, A minor. A minor, A minor 7, and then um, F sharp have diminished to D over F sharp. And then at the end there you have kind of like the synthesizer noise in the original song. So what I do is this. Hey, just a little bit of noise right behind the nut. You, you can choose to not play it, but I think it imitates the original sound. You can also do this, but it kind of interferes with the chord, while if you play this, then you get the noise and the chord at the same time. Okay, right, so just a little trick. Um, then you have um, the chorus already. So C again, okay, you play the C bass with the open third string twice. So you can play the fifth, the fourth as well. Bass strings three, four, and five. Okay, and then the third string. Then one three on the second, one zero on the E string, three one on the B string, 
E minor, okay? The open second string, that's the melody. Play the chord however you like, so. Okay, I accidentally played the open second string there. Okay, causing a little bit of uh, dissonance, but I I'm not sure if you noticed that, so that means that it works, so. And then you have, okay, it's strings two, one. And then on the second string, three, one, zero. And then you have F. Okay, like this. So it's one, two on strings two and three with one on the sixth string. I suggest you play it with your thumb because then you have, okay, you play the chord, then you have a pull off from three to one on the second string and then two on the third. Okay, so, okay. And then you have two on the third, open seconds. So this is actually the most comfortable way to play it. You can also play it with these fingers, but then the, the pull-off is kind of stretchy. You kind of feel the, uh, the tension in your wrist, and that's not healthy, so the thumb is actually the healthy choice. And then two on the third, open second, then you have F minor. So you just bar strings one, two, and three on one, and then one on the sixth string again with your thumb. Why? Because, um, again, it's kind of more comfortable, more convenient than playing this. Okay, you can play. Okay? But it's the same thing. You can just bar the first fret and play strings two, three, and six again. Okay, so it's one, 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 three on the second string. Um, then you have one, 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 three on the second string again with C. Then you have F again with one hammer on to two, uh, one hammer on to three, one on the second string. Okay, so you can just hammer on and then play strings two and three again. And then you play this again, the F minor C F sequence. Um, and then you play everything again, okay, so. Okay, um, and I misled you um, before. Sorry, it's not E minor there, it's E major. So make sure you're playing the one on the third string. Sorry, I completely missed that. It's E major, okay? Um, with one on the on the third string, okay? Um, then you have okay? And after you play this once, the second time is different. You play the F minor the same, C the same. But then with F, you just have one zero on the E string. So you pull it off and then three one on the second string. You can pull it off or just play it. Okay, with one on the sixth string with your thumb again. So the second, uh, the second round ends with a different F chord, okay? Okay, just this. Then you have, okay? It's the post chorus. It's back to the uh, intro chords, F major seven and E minor. So one on the second string and then F major seven. Then three one on the second and then E minor. Okay, it's E minor with uh, the open second string three times, then one zero and then the third string. You can pull it off, okay? And then you have F major seven again and then Okay, it's the open E string, 3-1 on the B string, and then E minor again with the open 2nd string. Then you have... Okay, it's B flat for a moment, but you need to put it on like this. 3-3 three, three on strings 2 and 3, and 1 on the 5th without a bar, because you need the open E string. And you play... Okay, strings 2, 3, and 5. You play the chord twice more, and then the open E string, then... A minor with uh, one on the second string, that's your melody note, okay? So it's either that or the whole chord, okay? Then you have, okay? So it's one, one, zero, zero um, into a G chord. So one, one, and then G with the second string twice, then um, zero hammer on to one zero on the second string, and then F. Okay, the main note here is two on the third string, so you can just play 
this, 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 just the low note. Anyway, you want to emphasize this chord. And that's the post chorus. So um, let's just play that again. F major 7. Okay, you can strum it. And then E minor. You can also add okay, the harmonic if you like. You can also strum it. Okay, you can just pick it instead of using your second hand. But if you want to show off, use this hand. And then F major 7 again. You can play kind of like the whole chord or with the thumb as your bass note. And then E minor. Then B flat. A minor. G. F. Then you have the solo. Now take this shape of F. The bar shape without the bar, one on the second string. Take it up to C, okay? Up to eight, so it's eight, nine, ten, ten, okay? And you play, and then back to F, and then G, okay? So it's two frets up, so. And then two frets up for A. Okay, so that's how you do it basically. It's a. Uh, And you want to play the open E string for effect. Right? And you do it uh, twice, four times, 16 times, 85 times. Um, just, just how many times you feel at the moment uh, is appropriate. And then you have the solo, which is F major 7, just 1-1-1 one, one, one on the second string. Then E minor. 0 to 0 on the 3rd, then you have A, then you have, okay, down to A, I almost played A minor, sorry, okay, it's an arpeggio, so uh, it's an arpeggio of A7 actually, because of this, but, okay, you can do a blues line there if you like, but uh, 5 hammer on to 6 on the 3rd, Make sure you're barring the 5th fret, then you play strings 2 and 1 on 5, 8 pull off to 5 on the 2nd, 6, 7 on the 3rd and the 4th. Okay, so... Okay, you can just strum the chords, okay, um, before playing the solo. For A, you can actually play this, okay, 5, 6, 7 on strings 2, 3 and 4, because that's where you're arpeggiating. And then you play C. It's 0, 1 on the E string, 3 on the B string, open E string, and then D. Okay, so you play 5, 7, 5 on the E string, harmonized by 7 on the B string. And you can just play with that. You can play this or... Okay, just hammer on the 7. Okay, or pull it off as well if you like. Okay, just play with it. Okay, make it your arrangement. Then E. Then, okay, just arpeggiating from the second string to the sixth. You can also add four on the sixth string. Okay, or you can um, tap it. Okay, if you want. Just giving you ideas here. Uh, not sure if I like it myself. Then, if you want to continue, you just play the verse again and the choruses again, and just finish on the intro. You just play E minor and F major 7 again and again and again, and then make noise again, and that's it, because that's how the song actually ends. So that's Space Oddity. Before you go uh, download the tab, uh, the link is in the description, the tab is for free. Before you go and download the tab, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons here, okay? Hundreds of lessons. Seriously, check the playlists, okay? Find your way around. Um, there are plenty of lessons uh, most uh, veteran subscribers aren't even aware of. So uh, check the playlist. Go download the tab. The link is below in the description. It's for free. Everything is for free here on Lick and Riff. But if you want to give something back anyway, there is a donation button on the website or Patreon. You can uh, pledge on Patreon. The link is in the description as well. I thank you in advance for your generosity. Everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making your lessons. So I'll see you uh, the next lesson and bye for now. Enjoy.